Physics professor Sergei Mirov reviews the inner workings of the optical nose. The device, consisting of an optical cell and a system of high-powered lasers, also includes unique crystals developed by Mirov at UAB. The specialized crystals allow the optical nose for the first time in any lab on the globe to freely and efficiently radiate molecules from within the middle infrared range of the optical spectrum. This middle infrared range of optical spectrum is very important for many practical applications, for medicine, for spectroscopy, for environmental monitoring, industrial process control, defense-related applications, and so on and so forth. Simply put, Dr. Mirov's optical nose can distinguish one-of-a-kind molecules from another. So our laser light will strike these volatile components of explosives. Part of this light will be re uh, scattered back, will be detected by the telescope, and this scattered light will carry spectroscopic signatures of these improvised explosives, uh, at least at a distance of uh, like four, four or 500 yards, something of this nature so that it will be safe distance for the soldier to identify whether this particular object is a serious danger or not. There are medical applications too. The sensitivity of Dr. Mirov's laser technology could lead to new levels of preciseness in laser surgeries and replace current technologies altogether. We envision that it will be possible to substitute mechanical drill with a laser Yes, and the property of this laser will be such that it will provide very precise drilling of the hard tissue of the tooth. Plus, it will eliminate the need for anesthesia.